you've been uh, playing a law enforcement agent now for seven years. Yeah. And all day long on these shows, you have to get there early in the morning, put yep. on the makeup, yep. get the prop gun, yep. and then all day long, you're playing a law enforcement agent. Do you ever feel like a cop after all this time? Do you ever feel to yourself like, hey, because I remembered once, I only bring it up because once I was dressed as a cop for some bit we were doing, and literally, you, they put on the, th the suit, it. and for it. five minutes, were... I wandered away from the set and started to like tell people to move it along. Yes. And... It, it gives you that power. Yeah, did you ever have no, that? No, because that would be delusional. Um, <laughs> well, what's great about you'd be Tom Cruise. No, I think that um, I, I, you know, we've done 195 episodes or something insane, which is like 15,000 hours of playing a cop. And what's crazy about this is you go to work and they give you a real gun and they give you an M9 or some like massive machine gun, and some explosion happens or or or, uh, or something crazy happens, and then they all action and you run towards it. Right. So instinctually, when something goes wrong, you find yourself just being the guy that runs towards the action. And, and I actually have a terrible story where that happened in real life. And I'm driving on, on, on the 10 freeway. I'm in the far left lane, and this, this black windowless van blows by me on the, on the, on the, on the corner in the, in the side lane mm -hmm. and hits the Porsche in front of me, knocking off their mirror. I can hear the woman scream from my car. I immediately jump on the phone. I call 911. They say, 911, what's your emergency? And I said, this is this. Uh, black windowless van traveling uh, eastbound on the 10 freeway, license plate Tango Charlie 371. <laughs> and the woman goes, uh, okay, uh, where are you right now? I said, well, I'm on the 10, uh, we are now crossing under the 405 under pursuit. And she goes, what? <laughs> and I go, what? And she goes, what? And she goes, did, sir, I'm sorry, sir, did you just say pursuit? And I said, no, 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 no. And she goes, sir, are you following the vehicle? And I was like, no, 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 I'm not following the vehicle. Sir, do not follow the vehicle. We've called officers. Do not follow the vehicle. And then in front of me, it's like a Michael Bay movie. Like I see the windowless van hit the center divider. It creams to the right. A Porsche launches into the air. A Volvo spins to the right. I go to the far right lane and fire up to the end, and now this, this van that's gone across all this traffic that's stopped, it's like a five-car pileup, and it's teetering on the side, and as soon as I pull up, the guy jumps out of the van, and he rips his shirt off, and he runs across, now four lanes of stopped traffic, jumps the center divider, there's now traffic going at full speed, going westbound on the 10, and he starts screaming, there's been an accident, there's been an accident. <laughs> And I realize in this moment, like, there's somebody in the back of this van. Because I've done 195 episodes, there's a kidnapped person in the back of the van. So I jump out of my car, and I run to the front of the van, and I go, hello, is anyone in there? And there's no response. Right. Which means one thing, that they've been, they've been handcuffed and bound in, in, in tape. <laughs> and so I go around to the back of the van, and, and the windows have all been blacked out, and so I'm staying low. So if this is the back of the van, I'm staying low, so when the shotgun shoots out the, the back windows, <laughs> it doesn't hit me. And I'm going like this, and I'm about to breach the van, because I've done, like, you know, 55 tactical breaches on the TV show that's fake. <laughs> and I'm about to go into the vehicle, I'm leaning through like this, and I look down, and I'm holding my finger. <laughs> so now, <laughs> all the people have come out of their cars and they're watching this spectacle in front of them, which is this crazy man without a shirt on meth trying to stop cars. And then that idiot kid on NCSLA who's about to breach a van with his finger. <laughs> but that didn't stop me. No, 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 no. In it's that moment, like... I go like, yeah, no, no, no I have to. I, this, she's out there and she's probably bleeding. And so I swing it open. And of course, there's nothing there. But no anybody, there. there for sure somebody has a picture of me as an idiot on the 10 freeway. But that just, you know, when you do this many hours, you just- You get excited. You get excited and you, you think that you're this guy. And, it's, and you um, also, I think you would be a very good cop. I think that's what we're learning, you know? If you- Yeah, like if you look at LAPD, they don't, they don't, I look homeless. I mean, that's like <laughs>